here are your news highlights. On Monday, Donald Trump Jr. received an envelope containing a white powdery substance and a death threat at his Juniper, Florida home. Hunter Biden was seen talking to the media shortly after the incident. He said the white powder does not seem to be cocaine because it has been 30 minutes since he last tested it and he still has his clothes on. But uh, who knows, it could kick in a little later. More to come on that story. The Biden administration pledged a $1.7 billion package to fund initiatives aimed to ending hunger across the U.S. by 2030. This will fund 141 projects across the nation. On a side note, Ukrainian soldiers were recently photographed enjoying a steak dinner as they continued to cash in the $75 billion that have been sent to them. Thanks, Biden. Tyler Loundon from Houston overheard his work-from-home wife talking business. He then used that information to make over $1.7 million in an insider trading scheme. He was arrested by the FBI and pled guilty to the charges. Meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi gave an interview on her way to the bank. She applauded the FBI for cracking down on the scum that would take advantage of insider knowledge for personal gain. She then proceeded to cash her multi-million dollar check she earned from her 65% return rate on her stock portfolio in 2023. The FBI stated Mr. Loundon made a serious error in judgment, which he deeply regrets. The chair of the House Budget Committee spoke to his fellow Republicans regarding raising taxes to fix Washington's finances. Quote, we need to raise taxes to fix our deficit. While this measure isn't expected to get bipartisan support, recent college grads are cheering as they had their student loan debt erased by President Biden's $300 billion plan. Max, who recently graduated college with a degree in puppeteering, expressed his gratitude towards the student loan forgiveness program. He said, I wasn't able to afford my loan because finding a job after college is tough. I worked so hard for four years just to get my degree and find the American dream is no longer a thing. I tried to ask Max if he thought raising our taxes to fit our spending problem is the right solution. However, our interview was cut short as the Burger King manager told him to get back to work because his break was over. <laughs> the Biden administration is investing billions to replace Chinese-made cranes at many U.S. ports. They are looking to alleviate fears that the current Chinese-made cranes use advanced software that poses potential national security risks. Biden made this announcement, then immediately started thumbing through his TikTok feed because he couldn't get enough of those puppy videos. Thanks, buddy. Those are your news headlines for today. Come back for more.